everyone! Welcome back to Why You Were Cleaning. Today I have some fall leaf decor DIYs to share with you. I wanted to share several of these in the same video together. All of these DIYs today are going to be very affordable. I do use some Dollar Tree products in some of them, and then others I just use some items from my backyard. My main purpose of this video was just to make it very affordable DIYs for you that you can make without having to spend a lot of money. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you do, please hit that like button, please comment and subscribe, and we'll go ahead and get started. For this first project, you'll need some plaster of Paris, and I mix this according to the directions that are on the back, which is two parts of plaster to one part of water. So I did two third cup of plaster and one third cup of water, and this is the consistency that I got once I mixed all of the clumps out of my plaster. And what we'll be doing today is dipping some leaves in this plaster to coat them to make some decor leaves. So I got some oak leaves and some maple leaves from some trees in my yard. And then once I dipped them in the bowl and covered the leaves with the plaster, I laid them out on some wax paper. I really wasn't sure how this project would turn out, but what I discovered after doing it is that the oak leaves covered really well and they came back off the wax paper just fine, but the maple leaves did not. And I'm not really sure what the difference was. Maybe you would have better luck with some maple leaves, but here are how my oak leaves turned out. I just displayed them on a table with some pumpkins. I only dipped these once. You could also hang these from some strings for a wall display. Next, we'll be putting together a leaf accent bowl using some modeling clay. And these are some modeling clays that I picked up from Dollar Tree. I really wasn't sure how these would work for this project, and we will talk about that a little bit later on. But for right now, I just want to show you the steps that I went through to put this together because you don't have to use that Dollar Tree modeling clay. You can pick up some better quality clay from another store like Michael's or Hobby Lobby. It took quite a while to get this rolled out to a good enough size. I wanted it big enough so I could set my leaf on top. And then this is a maple leaf and I did use my rolling pin over it to flatten it into the modeling clay so that we could get the imprint of the leaf on onto the modeling clay. And then after I was done flattening it into the clay, I went through with this little sculpting knife and I cut out around the edge of the leaf. And I forgot to mention, but I did roll out the clay onto some wax paper. I got this little knife in a wood carving kit from Dollar Tree. You could also use an X-Acto knife or just a regular kitchen knife for this step. Once the outline of the leaf is all cut out, you can peel away the extra clay from the outside edges. Next, I peeled off the wax paper from the back of the clay, and then I turned it back over and I peeled off the leaf from the clay, and here you can see the imprint that it made, and I just used my little knife to remove any little pieces that may have got stuck to the clay. And then I used a small Pyrex bowl and I shaped this leaf form into a bowl shape by pushing it down into the bowl and then folding the extra leaf over the edge of the bowl, if that makes sense. And then I put this in the oven for 300 degrees for 30 minutes and this is what I got. So the clay didn't melt and the clay didn't crackle, so I really have no idea what this clay is made out of. I feel like it should have hardened in the oven, but it didn't. So I left it sit for an entire day, and it was still just as pliable, had a bunch of bubbles in it. So I really don't know what to tell you about this Dollar Tree clay. I'm not sure what it's good for. If you can't really harden it, I'm sure that there are some projects that it'll be great for. But I wanted to show you what the Dollar Tree clay did, but I also wanted to still show you these steps so that you can use these steps and follow the same steps to make a bowl like this or make little hanging clay leaf pieces. 
This next project is so simple, you'll need a plain white sheet, a printer paper, and then a leaf. I'm using a maple leaf from my yard. Place the leaf face down on your flat surface and place the piece of paper on top. And then I'm using a burgundy colored pencil to kind of trace over top of where the leaf is. And I kept peeking underneath the paper to make sure I didn't go outside of where the outline of the leaf was because I wanted to only have the outline of the leaf show up on my white sheet of paper. And as you can see, all of that veining from the leaf is showing up as you trace over the leaf onto your paper. Once I got the general outline, I went back over the entire leaf to darken it up a little bit, and I really love the way that this turned out. I'm using a lot of burgundies and pinks in my fall decor this year. And then once I was done with all the tracing, I just went ahead and went back around the edge or the outline of the leaf, and I drew over it with my pencil just to darken it up so that it gave a nice clear outline to where this leaf was. I trimmed down my paper and stuck it inside of an 8x10 Dollar Tree frame and here is how it turned out. You could really use any colors or collections of leaves. You could do more than one leaf on a sheet of paper as well. For this next DIY, you'll need some burlap leaves from Dollar Tree. These come five in a pack. You can find oak leaves and you can find maple leaves. I picked up these burgundy colored ones and these have this little wire on the back. So I strung up a piece of twine across my fireplace and I just used the wire and pinched it together in order to hold these leaves onto the piece of twine. This may be the simplest DIY I have ever put together and I really love the way that it looks though. I ended up using 12 leaves on my garland here, but the leaves that you use will just completely depend on how big or how long you need your garland to be. And here is how the garland turned out and I really like it. I like the nice pop of this burgundy color in my living room. And for the last project, you will need nine leaves. I picked out nine leaves from the oak tree in my yard. You could use any leaves that you may have access to. Maple leaves would look great with this as well. And we're going to be spray painting them with this Rust-Oleum metallic gold color. This is my favorite gold spray paint. I love Rust-Oleum, it's my favorite brand. I set these leaves out on a piece of cardboard and then used a piece of wood across the stems of the leaves to keep them from blowing away in the wind or from moving from spraying them with spray paint. So then I went ahead and sprayed the first side, waited for it to dry, and then I flipped them all over so I could spray the back side of them as well. Now these might move from the project that we're doing today, so I would suggest spray painting both sides of these leaves. You could probably get away with just spray painting one but I would do both just in case. You can spray paint these leaves any color that might go along with your decor this year. And then you can put them on a table as a nice centerpiece, pair them with some pumpkins, but we are not going to stop there today. I just wanted to show you another way that you could use these, but we're going to be making a wall hanging with them. So you are going to need a stick, of some sort, a branch. I found this one while camping last week and I just removed any of the extra bark on it and then took some sandpaper to it. The sandpaper really wasn't getting me very far so I ended up using my electric sander on it instead. The bark was already falling off of this piece so there really wasn't much to remove. You could easily just leave the bark onto your piece of wood because sometimes it's kind of hard to remove. But if you find one without bark, it looks really nice to sand it down and get that nice light wood color. Next, I'll be using some of this cotton yarn that I picked up from Dollar Tree, and we are going to be cutting nine strings with this. Now, I am doing two of each length. So my first string is probably about a foot long, and I did two at that length, and then I went ahead and did two that were about five or six inches longer, and I just kept going about five or six inches longer each time doing a pair of each length because we are going to be hanging the leaves into a V shape. 
So the very middle string, I only cut one of that one, and that one is the longest, of course, and I'm hanging that right in the middle of this branch on the wall. I went ahead and hung up my branch with the same yarn as well and put it up on the wall before adding all of these strings. It's just simpler that way. So once I got that middle one in place, I just started moving to the next longest strings, working my way out to the shortest ones on the outside edges of the branch. And here I just wanted to show you how all of those strings angle into a V shape and how this is hanging onto the wall there. And lastly, you just have to simply tie each of these nine leaves to the nine strings on your wall hanging. And I just did a single knot. I didn't even double knot them because they're so light, they're really not going to fall off. In my home, I have a vent on this wall in my living room that blows up onto this wall hanging and it spins the leaves around sometimes. So that's why I had you spray paint both sides of them because you may have the same thing happen to you where sometimes the leaves get spun around by a breeze going through your home or a vent or whatever it might be. So you wanna make sure that the gold side is always facing out and the easiest way to do that is just to spray paint both sides of the leaves. This is my absolute favorite project of this video. I really love the way that this turned out. I wasn't planning on hanging any artwork at all on these wooden walls in my living room, but I love this one so much that it is definitely going to stay up here for the fall season. Let me know down in the comments which of these projects was your favorite, which one that you plan on doing for your home this fall season. Thank you all so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you again next time. Bye!